Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to DRG Central. This is episode 7 of the 2024 Road to the Triple Crown. Episode 7 will be highlighting the Belmont Sticks and the Acorn Sticks. So right now you see up on the screen is the uh, <coughs> top uh, Kentucky Derby victory point leaders. In imagination is on top with 275, Mute and Sierra Lona, and so forth. And this is uh, both genders. So we do the male, we'll be doing the top 10 for the uh, the Belmont Sticks, and for the egg car, we're doing the top nine fillies. We'll take a look here, and here's your top. <coughs> here's your top coats, and you see the list. Imagination, Mute, Sierra, Leon, Leon. Okay, let's do the females. And there's your top victory point when there's there and for the fillies. Okay, let's go ahead and get, get to the schedule. And so in the 2024 Road to the Triple Crown and the Acorn and the Belmont. So we'll go ahead and edit the fields. And I think we need to do something else first. So let's go into the uh, race utilities. The race. And let's see, with Acorn Finals, we have to link it to something. We'll link it to the top 10. And we'll do the same thing for the Belmont TRG. That way we'll use the top 10 lists, and the top 10 lists will actually show up in the select fields. Okay, so they're updated. Let's go ahead and back to the schedule. And there you have it. There's the uh, fields there. Next to the top 10 list. Just happens to have 20. So we'll go ahead and slide nine fillies over. Uh, let's go ahead and do that now. And again, like the last episode, we will be picking the newest cards. Again, the cards are based on whether or not they're uh, <coughs> prep races, that would mean the zero. Uh, then, if there's any horses that ran races between the prep and the Kentucky Derby, or Kentucky Derby and Kentucky Oaks, uh, <coughs> real life uh, runners, and we didn't have a card, then they'd be 20241, 20242, and races before the quickness and if they and that would be the black eye season for the Philly and for the acorn and belmont they could have a 2024 three card which means they either ran in the quickness or the black eye susie or they're just <coughs> up in the portion that were entered in the real life races at uh, Ram Races since their last card. Uh, and, uh, 
three. Nothing like you. Entry cut. And there you have it. And we'll take a quick look at power squeeze again. Need to have change. Like that. And you can tell here look at power squeeze card. And as OT and antenna. The velocity rose is really higher. She gets the uh, high right just to ride her in the race. And Tantano will ride our squeeze. So let's save the field. And do the same thing for the Talmont Stakes. And here at the end is the top 20, but since the Belmont Stakes is open to both Phillies and Coach, you see that there is Phillies and Coach. So we'll just be moving the top 10. Colts. They want to play Philly, Philly, Colt. You see, some of the horses do have a 20-24-3. That means they ran in the weakness of Black Eye Susan. Will have run since their last car before the bell one. It goes still. And skip to just touch. Timberlake. The boy and no good. And again, we have to check to make sure there is no duplicate jockey. That looks good. They field. And now we're all set. So let's go ahead and talk the races. We have the Acorn Stakes, nine per loan, five hundred thousand dollar purse. And this year they're running instead of Belmont Park, they're running at Saratoga. Same with the Belmont Stake at Belmont Park is closed for a refab. Oh. We got to lock them. Now we're all set. Okay, here's the morning line for the uh, acorn. Very close race here. There's four horses that are all in contention with the uh, Morning favorite, the Terror. Okay, we'll take a look at their past performances. You see they all have at least three to four races. And you can see nearly all the red horses that run in the Black Eye Susan next up. Intricate. And we'll go ahead and get the race started. We're in the starting gate. Let's see if the officials are all set. They are. And Leslie throws it out of the gate first, and they're off. And it looks like it's a nice race through the turn. There's three horses, four horses, all within one pace. Again, we have four one phase with uh, Kinza. And look at how close all those horses are up. They're going into the turn, there's a little bit of space between the first two horses and the rest of the pack. But they just 
duck right back into contention. When the uh, home stretch, it looks like it might be a two Philly Rays. No, it looks like five. Kenza, oh, number six in the champagne. No, it's five and three. And there's three horses all lined up for her. Mackenza wins three hundred thousand dollars and Pell hundred and ten wears my ring into champagne. Lusty's Rose, one of the favorites, came in fourth. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, fourth, fifth. Okay, that's it for the uh acorn. Let's go ahead and Get the uh, Belmont Stakes run. It's the uh, last race in the series. The series, of course, was <coughs> was using the uh, ASC game TRG twenty twenty for Road to the Triple Crown subscription service. It's still available if you like to try to run some races before the real life Acorn. And Belmont Sticks. Otherwise, this will be our last race in the series. Okay, take a look at the odds here. Uh, looks like it's going to be Muse, Sierra Leone, and Catching Freedom with Sierra Leone. The favorite. Go to the past performances. You see all the horses of Timberlake were in the prisoners. You know, sometimes maybe I might try in these series when we're moving horses through the triple crown races after we run the prep races, that maybe only the top four or five horses advance to the next triple crown race and then they're filled in with new horses that didn't run a race. That may be an interesting way to finish out the campaign. Okay, well, there all the past performances. And find a few horses that have won three races during the series. And six of the horses have won over a million dollars. Let's go ahead and get over to uh, Saratoga to run the race. Hmm. Well, I think we kind of forgot about, uh, we should have uh, been the, uh, Randomized post positions. Unfortunately, Acorn went with what we put in. Uh, lock it. We now have the different post positions based on the draw. We'll go ahead and run the race. Again, the odds didn't change about the arrow alone. It's the favorite. So they're all ready at the starting gate. If the officials at Stewart Tower turn out everything to go, load some boys out of the gate first and they're off. Okay, as they're heading into the first turn, it looks like Fiorista and Mute. Uh, we have just still need to uh, have some help. I uh, just still going to try to do this. Gonna get into the first lane, and he'll do a slip maneuver. He gets past uh, uh, just in touch and has one more space. And right now, about. And as we go through the first 
turn, we have another one on some boys. Has some extra movement points. Let's see, let's see if we can do a better job. He's going to try to do the slip. He has no jockey points, so it's nothing, not a guarantee. Not, nothing gained, nothing lost. So we're just going to have to go outside, go one. Now, let's go inside. Let's do what I do and do this again. Go inside. We'll do the flip move maneuver here. And no jockey point. He makes it through. Has one point left. That's not enough to do a flip. So he's going to stay there. And resume spectator mode. You see all the horses are pretty clumped up here. So it could be a pretty good race as we're heading into the back straight. Now just fear for us, the lowly boy. We got a whole slew of horses all bunched together. They're going into the back turn. Number nine, Timberlake takes the lead. And he gets passed by Fierce and that's we're going into the home stretch. It's Fierce, this is the L alone. And we have five Sierra Lil. Looks like it's gonna be the winner. Timberlake and Fierce are second and third. And there you have it. We have the Earl alone first, 21,200,000. Roasted and Timberlake and Catching Freedom. Okay, well, we really have a surprise for you. We will be also running a few of the uh, major three-year-old races throughout the season and when we do so we'll we'll have a, another episode so for episode eight we'll be covering the Ohio Derby and episode nine we'll go to Indiana Indiana for the Indiana Derby and the Haskins that's Phil Stakes. And the Jim Dandy, and we finish up the schedule back here with Saratoga for the Travers. So, again, that's going to do it from Saratoga. Uh, uh, from BRG Central. Last thing we'll do is take a look at the top horses. And let's see, the female Impel had the most victory points, whereas my ring ends up. What I do on my listing by winning, we'll do all to see who <coughs> is the Winner with the most uh, winning, the you see Mute is first, Sierra Leona, Imagination, Catching, Freedom, Just Steal, Timberlake, Roasted, Impel, Just a Touch, and Kenza. And we have eight horses that managed to get at least one million dollars through our series. Uh, let's take a look at the, at the males. These are the top three year olds. Colts.
and his mute Sierra Leona imagination and catching freedom. You can see it's three, four, five, six, seven. But on the team of, but then again, on the filling side, we didn't run a whole lot of prep races, just the, the three triple Sierra races. And you have Intel, Kenza, Wesley, Jones, and Tara, top four. Okay, well, I think that's that's it from TRG Central. This is Gary signing off. Have a great evening, everyone.